All right. So this corner is the situation. Yeah, um, this is the danger. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. I'm Kitchen. I'm Jorn. And today we are organizing Kitchen's house. My house, not just the kitchen, the whole house. The whole house. Because it's a disaster. It's of, a rich tapestry. It's a mess. Of items. It's a mess. Yeah. Everything you need like a quick this. little pan. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Let's be real about what's happening. We've lived in this apartment for two years. We've also run a business out of this apartment for almost two years. To be clear, I don't live here. I live with Bree. Yeah. I run a business with Jen. Jen. Plus, I have OCD. Uh, and part of that means I'm like a little bit of a hoarder, so I have a hard time getting rid of things. Also, I have ADHD, which means what I do is sometimes I'll pick something up and then I'll get distracted and I'll put it down which means that like things are located in things that don't really make sense to anyone but me. Like your medication's over there, medication. your inhaler's on the floor, <laughs> your makeup is here. We do have a decent amount of filming equipment that we don't have an organization system for. There's a deep fryer over there that belongs to you that you never took home. Yeah, and I never will. We're getting this house professionally organized. And the reason why we gave you all those caveats is so you don't make fun of me. Yeah. Because you're gonna see how bad this house is in order to see how good it will be when we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Even before we started filming today, I was like, we need to do just like a sweep of trash. Just, you know, just like, so we're not humiliated internationally. And to be fair, as someone who doesn't live here, I'm a big part of why this house is the way it is. <laughs> so don't just come for her. <laughs> you can come for me too. To help us with this project, we have brought in Space Camp, which is a cool business that helps people organize their unorganized spaces. You get it? <laughs> anyway, please welcome to the show, Juliana! Hi, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Juliana. Hi. So I'm a professional organizer. I've been doing this for about 10 years. Wow. I have a team. Uh, we're called Space Camp. We do small spaces, big spaces, everything. I'm excited to help you guys. Thank you. This is a beautiful spot, by the way. It's like in oh, such a great location. Uh -huh. So you're already starting with great bones. We just need to clean it clean it up around the edges a little bit. <laughs> Probably also in the middle. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Beginning, middle, and end. We'll do it all. How does today work? So now yeah. I'm here for the consultation. Yay! Yay! Which is where I'm gonna look at your space, we're gonna go through everything, and I'm gonna ask you a ton of questions about what's working, what's not working, your goals, because the way that I organize for you might be different than the way that we organize for you. It's not about shaming you into like making it look like it's in a magazine or on Instagram or on Pinterest. One thing I wanted to say is that this is obviously not my first organization video. It's like, I think my third. Don't feel ashamed if your house is like this. My house is like this too. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's go look at my house. Yay! Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to our uh, walk-in area. It is the canyon of stuff that we drop when we walk in the house. I keep trying to close this closet, but there's a broom in the way. <laughs> I'll say one thing. I like to call an entryway a drop zone, right? Like you walk in the house and you like, take your shoes off, you mm -hmm. maybe drop your bag. This is great for storage, but mm -hmm. like intuitively, I don't put stuff in here. I'm just like, mm -hmm. And then I like to walk in yeah. the door. Like, I need to be able to kick off my shoes. I almost need like a purse wall. Our apartment is just like a land of PR package carcasses. I've worked with a bunch of influencers who get a ton of PR mm -hmm. and we need to have a space for inbox stuff to come mm -hmm. before you've had time to process it. Disorganization doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that you are lazy. It literally just means there's too many decisions to be made and you can't figure out where to start. Yes. And that's why you yes. sort of just like pause and then you stay paused forever and things get worse and worse because you don't have anywhere to put things. You don't know, know where things go. All right, let's move on to the next Toro yeah. show. All right, what's next? All right, this is our main living area. This is like the kitchen. It's like open to the living room. There's also like This is where we this. store the equipment. This is where the equipment oh. and also my wife loves that we can see all our glassware. Mm -hmm. I do not think that this particular shelf is very practical and a good use of our space. Mm -hmm. We want to eventually get a dog and I feel like a dog is going to run right into that. A dog's going to ruin all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Shelves here for glassware, which will open up this space and then we can talk about what the goals here are because I think you need some structure for all of your equipment. Yes. Okay, I want to ask about the kitchen. Do you guys cook? I don't cook. Brie cooks. I think we're gonna use the deep fryer that's Jen's. <laughs> <laughs> we're putting this in your car uh, before I leave. The, the air, air fryer's on the ground. The air fryer's on the ground. Because yeah, in my no. mind, I'm like, we don't have enough pantry space. I mean, you don't. You don't have a pantry. All right, should we move on to the bathroom? Yeah. Let's go to the bathroom. This is our bathroom. 
How do you walk in here? Uh, I don't. <laughs> the bathroom is huge. It mm -hmm. just is full of stuff. Why are these clothes here? Because we have a lot of stuff that can't be tumble dried. Okay. And so we end up using this as a drying rack, yep. which we shouldn't use as a drying rack because it can't support the oh, weight. Oh, does it fall? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like a little. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the stuff gets demoted from that mm -hmm. to the towel rack, mm -hmm. and then it gets demoted from the towel rack mm -hmm. to the floor. And then we forget it's okay. clean, and then it gets washed again. Again, thinking about systems, we need a laundry system. This is gonna sound really gross, but I think it's something that I need. I almost need like a, a like, tiny little trash can to sit on like the edge of my tub, mm -hmm. because like I have a lot of hair, and so every time yeah. I wash, every time I wash my hair, there's like globs of hair. <laughs> I think out of the box solutions are going to be the name of the game for you. So I'm happy to do that. Sorry. So this one, <laughs> this is Breeze makeup, kind of, but also okay. like a lot of this is like old makeup that I don't use mm -hmm. anymore. This is the guest bedroom slash uh, Breeze office. Okay. All right, and basically what's going on here is that we go on trips and Kristen brings the suitcases back here and mm -hmm. does nothing with them. And what clothes are in here versus what's in the primary bedroom? So, these clothes are the ones that are located here. Oh, okay, yeah, great. Do you work in here full yes, time? Full time. Yeah, so we need this to feel clean and calm yeah, and. Yeah, it did a couple of months ago. Bree is annoyed with me. Uh, Kristen, are you. Just... <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you willing to get rid of some things? Yeah. Great. There, I already know we need to get rid of some things. Great. Yeah, like that drone up there. I don't need that. You yeah, have no. a drone? Yeah, yeah, I have a drone. Oh, do you want it? I probably shouldn't accept a drone. Just go in my car. <laughs> <laughs> this is our living room. Uh, there's a shoe box, that's a PR box. Here is all my candles. These aren't even all my candles. I have too many candles, but yeah. Potentially, if we needed, we could put some baskets on this lower level here. Yes. Maybe you keep one candle out and the rest are in a basket underneath and you can sort of swap out what you want to have. What? I can't have 50 candles and everything <laughs> that I've ever owned in a purse on a table? I mean, you can, but... <laughs> what about this old sandwich? What about this old That's mine. Can that one stay? <laughs> Is it a candle? All right, bedroom time. I mean, to organize, not, you yeah. know. <laughs> welcome to uh, this. this <laughs> what is working and what's not working? I like the bed. I like white sheets. That's what I like. I like my desk. Do you uh, work here? Uh, When it's cleaned off. Okay. <laughs> well, there's actually a good amount of storage space. Empty space, yeah. All right, well, we can see. I think the biggest thing to work out in here, honestly, is close. Yeah, I think so too. Biggest thing that I love about organization is like feeling how it changes the energy in room. Like literally throwing away trash clears out energy in your life and in your space. Should we go into the closet? Yes, please. Is yes. this a mix of both of your clothes? Yeah, so middle is, honestly, middle is old boy clothes. So bye-bye. I hate this closet. I think it's... It's small it's, and it's like a little claustrophobic. And the door opens inward. Mm -hmm. You have to close yourself in inside. the closet. The fat phobic closet. You could maybe just take the door off and put some sort of curtain or something <gasps> here. Why don't we do that? Primary bathroom. Primary bathroom is so bad. I also think it's just about getting rid of things you're not using and then seeing what lives in here versus what lives in the other bathroom. So this is the medicine cabinet and also this weird triangle cabinet. It's yeah. weird, yeah, but it's, it's, it's there. It exists, which is nice. Where's like, your clothing hamper? Uh, it's in front of the beds. It probably should be here. Yeah, you're These right. These could be here, actually. Yeah. And that's it. Let's, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Maybe the worst room in the house. <laughs> so that's our apartment. What do you think? <laughs> I think that, I mean, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of work to do, yeah. of course. But you know what you need. You know what you want. Mm -hmm. The next step is connecting those pieces and figuring out how you get there. Mm -hmm. The important thing mm -hmm. is that every single thing has a home mm -hmm. and that there's room for more stuff to come yes. in if it needs to come in. We always try to organize with at least 20% free space. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. It's awesome. gonna be great. All right, it's gonna yeah. be great. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, today's the day. We're gonna spend the next two days throwing all of my stuff away. Not all of your stuff, just the stuff you don't want or need. All of my stuff away, all of it. It's kind of what it feels like in my brain. I'm sure. Also, hey, here's some chips. Great, lunchtime. No idea where these are from. The plan today for the next two days uh -huh. is to first do a sweep and just get rid of any trash. Mm -hmm. So old receipts that you don't need anymore, drink cups that have a little bit of soda left in them, things like that. We're mm -hmm. gonna throw all of that away first. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna start going through and sorting things into categories. So all of your makeup in one place, jewelry, You're you're gonna find that a lot of my things don't actually have a category. Like what? 
Like those two gingerbread men over there. Those are Christmas decorations. Okay, yeah, you're right. Like, um... Try to stump me. I have like a rainbow wig somewhere around here. That feels like either beauty and accessories or Halloween. Okay. Uh... The what? Wig, the wig is trash, apparently, according to Bree. Let's grab some trash bags and we're gonna just toss any trash. All right. So this corner is the situation. Yeah, um, this is the danger. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is from our Halloween video. Let's donate it. Our first donation item. Oh my God. Here's the problem. My hoarding keeps getting rewarded because every time I think to get rid of stuff, mm -hmm. something that I didn't throw away two years ago plays a large part in my life. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> The peanut gallery over there seems Brie, to think Brie. that that's funny. Okay, first of all, sometimes I'll find clothes that Brie wants to wear. Sometimes I'll find sure. makeup that I want to give to Brie. Oh boy. Oh. Ooh, here's my old Kindle. This pillow goes to a couch that we hate. Should we let this pillow go? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Jen, Jen wait, hold on. Jen, do you have thoughts on this pillow? F him. <laughs> on the pillow? <laughs> Damn him to hell. Oh, this is some stickers from a book that I got sent. Do you like them? Yeah, they're cute. They are cute. Here, I'll put it with the paperwork. Julie Murphy uh, is writing the faith books and they're so cute. They're really cute. This is my plug for your books, Julie. You're welcome. I don't even, what are you doing back there? I'm just laughing. What am I doing back here? <laughs> Who's oh, helping? Oh, he's a CVS receipt. A shockingly short one. Well. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She expands for her pleasure. What uh, else is there? Oh, it's mostly candles. The never ending candle story. By Alina Ferrante? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these two boxes have been, have not been emptied since I left BuzzFeed almost two years ago. God, what are we gonna find? I don't know. This was on my desk at BuzzFeed. This was the thing that was on my monitor at my desk. Oh, the queen of figuring out how to pee in a wedding dress award. That's a great award. That's the video that Caitlin and I did. Here's three-year-old makeup. Bye-bye. I found our magic mic photo. <laughs> That's the only time I've gotten a lap dance from a man. I did not like it. Did not know how to respond. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep this. So at our wedding, we decided to exchange giant novelty checks. <laughs> so they have Bree's dead name on them. I've kept them for a long time because I'm just like, they were so funny. They did someone name wrong. It's, oh, it's uh, Kisten. 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 So both our names are wrong. Let's recycle them. Let's get rid of them. Okay. All right, we're going to go through some clothes. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, this, okay, this can be donated. This is trash. Oh my god, we have a lot to go through. We're getting to the end of the pile! Only five more piles to go. We're going through all of your clothes. Are you ready for this? Yeah, this is yours. Yeah. That's yours. Okay. So this is not mine. Yes, this it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, it is mine. Okay, yeah. well, you know what? Fine, let's keep it there. <laughs> I don't know why you had to fight me on that. Because I was sure, okay? This is mine, it's a cover up. Do you want it? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, donate this, I'm never gonna wear it. Keep, keep. But these are boy jeans. They are. Well then let's get rid of them. All right, donate. Donate them, they're boy jeans. You're doing so good. All right, this is actually signed by all the Decemberists, so oh, yeah. I'm keeping that. You have to keep that, you can't get rid of that. Oh, look at all these hangers you've, you've eliminated stuff off of. And these two. Oh, and those, wow. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Oh, that's the tux I got married in. <gasps> I gotta keep that. Are you, well, are you sure, Ben? I mean, yes. Okay. It also is a custom lining. Blue houndstooth. For and, Alabama. Yeah. I know. I think it has, does it have your name on it. Well, it's your dead name. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't want it. It shouldn't be in your closet because it has your dead name on it. I know, but it's still meaningful. I it's, know. It's it's where I got to marry you in. These are, now these are Kristen's. Yeah, we moved on. Oh, we yeah. moved back into Kristen's stuff. This dress is my favorite dress. <laughs> God, this is all the donations so far. And this is all the trash. Is this, 
This is all garbage. I'm not gonna jump in it, but I'm very tempted. Good lord. This is all garbage. Oh, it's time to do bath stuff. Oh my f God! Ah! How do I have this much stuff? You're like, I don't know, I wasn't here. <laughs> is this all of it? This is most of it. This is most of it? Oh my God. Okay, well, I guess we better start. This is honestly harder than clothes. Okay, maybe I'll just start with stuff that I know I want to throw out and then we can move on to other stuff. I've entered the room. You've entered the room, <laughs> wow. Okay, here's the problem that I have. Yes. My makeup ends up out there because Jen doesn't like it when I do my makeup and I'm not sitting next to her. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, if you just keep opening your hand, I feel compelled to fill it with stuff. Stop motion puppet sculpting. Really? It's yours. Oh. It's really? literally yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been working really well because I'm very susceptible to peer pressure. <laughs> When people tell me to get rid of things, usually they're just like, are you sure? And I'm like, fine, I don't know. I just want you to like me. You've done an incredible job of getting rid of things. You are better than 90% of our clients at getting rid of things, honestly. Oh my God, it's an A minus. Now what? So you have gotten rid of bags and bags and bags and bags and bags of things. You can already feel the energy start to change in here. If you peek over here, that's where all the donations have been in the hall. They're getting cleared out right oh, now. Wow, because how many bags of donations? I mean, I- uh, Just grab your orange juice while we're 30? doing this. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I need to count, but at least 30 bags of donations, if not more. Wow. And I didn't even keep track of how much trash was being thrown away. Also, you take all your stuff home I today. I did. No, did you? I put it in my car yet, but I will. All right, so we will see you for the organizational part. Yes. Well, 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 if it isn't you, you again. I'm back again, I keep coming back. What we're gonna be doing over the next two days, we're gonna be implementing systems to create forever homes for all of the different categories. And okay, good, so we're done with the trauma and now we're just doing the action. And the fun part, it's all gonna like Click. go off like a machine. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it finished. Oh, so. I'm so excited, okay, let's do it! Yeah. This is the fun part of organizing, right? Okay. This is where we're like maximizing space, moving things around, mm -hmm. putting in different containers or different shelves or different things where it's like, okay, here's how we get the most out of this space and here's how we create a home for each category. Actually, we found our label maker. <gasps> Right, well, I, we can use it. I know, we literally, I've used it once. What did do, you label? Well, I did like a joke label and put it on Bree's forehead and then we forgot, <laughs> about, then we forgot about it. And then it was like, well, good purchase. Well, <laughs> we'll actually use it for, for good, for real. For good? Yeah. I think we used it for good the first time. So because I leave my makeup everywhere, instead of putting my makeup in like super organized stuff, we're gonna put it on this cart. And then we can roll the cart out and then roll the cart in. Okay, Jen actually hasn't seen a lot of what we've done so far. So Jen, come on, come on in, I'm gonna show Jen. I'm not gonna show you though. I'm just gonna show Jen. So you're just gonna see Jen's hilarious reactions. Whoa, <laughs> this is really cool. Holy <laughs> shit, so good. This is our bathroom. Whoa, Look. I don't think I've ever seen the floor in here. Sorry, <laughs> that mean? No, it's true. <laughs> oh, I love that cute little, little the one more thing I want to show you is the equipment organization. Holy shit. I'm so happy. I know, right? Wow. Are you excited? It's not even done yet. I, I actually really can't believe this. I know. I love you, buddy. Love you too. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll get, we're going to get out of the organizer's way now. So one problem I have is that I have a lot of nice things that have been given to me either by PR companies or whoever, and I don't want to get rid of them. So what was your suggestion, Daniel? I was going to tell you and suggest that perhaps you can create a gifts to give world. So I can have like a gifts to give category where it's like, here's a cool thing that I'm not going to use, but someone else might like it. So I'll just like keep it for Christmas and birthdays and occasions like that. 100%. If it's expired in our cabinet, it's been expired for a oh, while. Oh, that looks gross, yeah. It's gone. It's not expired, though. Okay, but it looks disgusting. 
Okay, well, that's a, I mean, I look disgusting. You wouldn't throw me out. Well, you don't. I know, sorry. Aww. I just wanted a compliment. I just wanted a compliment. All right. Wow. <laughs> Let's circle back to the creme of coconuts and the pineapple juice. Well, here's the thing. So I wanted to make tiki drinks, uh, and I kind of misunderstood how much tiki drinks require. I, I overbought. But it's still good. Until June. I don't think we're going to go through all of these before June. If you want to keep one of each, I could be persuaded. I mean, I got rid of all of the sauce packets. Kristen. Okay, fine. Get rid of the tiki. These are, these right, are slightly right. bigger than sauce packets. Okay, fine. We'll get rid of it then. Oh my gosh, we just finished. Uh, we're going to show you what we did in a second. But before that, I just want to thank everyone from Space Camp. Yay, thank you everyone. Thank you. All right, let's do a little tour. We did it. Can you believe we did it? No. Let's talk about all the cool things that we did. When we first came here for the consultation, you didn't have anywhere to put things that you need to drop when you walk in the door, right? So we really just made it a functional entryway for you now. We added these hooks. Hooks uh, for the purses. Essentially stage shoes and coats. <gasps> we added your ears here though, so if you wanna like pop a pair of ears on before you leave the house. Then we also hung your Swiffers and your broom. What? I didn't even know you were doing that, okay. <laughs> I wanted to create a inbox package station for you. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of projects, things that need to be done, need to leave the house, need to be sent. And actually, I don't think I realized how many projects I had until I saw them all staring me in the face. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's move on to the next space. Let's do it. Let's do it, okay, okay. This is your bathroom, Kristen, uh -huh. and one of my favorite parts of this is your beauty cart. <gasps> I love wow. the right? beauty cart. And what I love about it is you can move it out here if you want to get ready out here for yes. a video. And more importantly, when you're done, you can move it back. Let me show you this. Oh, I love it so much. It's our new drying rack. Funny story, when I first saw this, I thought this was the whole drying rack. And I was like, <laughs> thanks, like, you guys did such a good job, but I don't know if that's big enough. And then uh, uh, Juliana opened it up, and I was like, you gotta, have, you gotta have faith. All right, should we talk about uh, my favorite thing? Okay, you told me that a problem we wanted to solve was you have long hair, it comes out when you're washing it, when you're in the bath, you're in the shower, you wanted a place to put it, and you were like, I kind of need a mini trash can for my bath. It's Adorable. A, it's a little trash can for my hair that falls out. It even has wheels. It even has wheels, so we can wow. take it out, yeah. Cute. And then you can do craft projects with the hair that's yeah. inside it. <laughs> I, yeah. I love horror movies. Yeah. <laughs> we utilized every nook and cranny. Ooh, what's under here? have a few sort of like backup things in here, but it's nothing you use on a daily basis. The back of this door is also an exciting. It's like a Murphy bed, but for serums. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love it. It's one of those things where I see it and I'm just like, oh, I have too many serums. Should we go to uh, the kitchen? Uh -huh. <gasps> wow. What I'm most excited about in the kitchen is food storage. So now we have bigger categories. You can even take oh, the whole cool. thing out. The last time I opened under the sink, it was a nightmare. So yes. I'm curious as to what it looks like now. Do it, go for it. What's, <gasps> wow, it's wow, it's not a nightmare, it's a daymare. Your pots and pans. Oh, whoa, <laughs> they're all sideways now. They're all divided. So it's a better way to use the height in there. <gasps> Trying to get Melissa into it. Yes, all, my, all the spices. The spice library. Are you ready? Wait, look. Wait, is this where the food ended up? Yes, look, ready? look. Yeah, I'm ready. <gasps> What? Look at all the food we have. Mm -hmm. Doesn't this make like so much more sense? Yes, it does. And now it's in a file cabinet. Exactly. The all fish. my tinned fishes. <laughs> this is so <laughs> smart. Well, not only is it your pantry now, but it's also your bar. Now I feel like it's more it's, functional. Yes. yes. It makes more sense. And then we added these shelves for all of your glassware and your beautiful punch bowl and all of that. Honestly, these look like they came with the apartment. They do. Oh my gosh, Jed, look at, I mean, I showed you this earlier, but look at where our production stuff is now. Everything equipment-wise is organized in here. So we have labeled bins that say camera, gear, and then big baskets for tripods. Genius. I think they're hampers actually, but they work pretty well. Genius. Hampers. I mean, this you is know. the most we've seen of this rug since we used to launch the business. I know, right? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know the rug continued past a certain point. Yeah. Cool, all right, let's talk about other stuff. Bye, go, bye. Is there a puppy hiding in here? Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. you, she's been so good. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, this, this room. This room looks so great and usable. I know, right? Does it feel calmer? Does it feel? Yes. Yeah. I love when all the books are rainbowed and also you rainbowed all the clothes. Yes. Which I know sounds- It just makes it look nice. It looks nice, but also- It, it helps. It helped me know what I actually own. That's mm -hmm. great. The desk area where we use some dividers you already had just uh -huh. to organize your office supplies. So cool. We made the decision to get rid of your closet door, which I think made all the sense in the world because- It you, opened inward. But you couldn't get your body in there. She likes oh, well, it. She, she can get to it. <laughs> Honey Bear likes the fact, I think she wants to hide in the closet. <laughs> Honey Bear, you. <laughs> and then we moved all of the clothes, all the hanging clothes in the house into one closet. It's all labeled for you. Oh. There's one bin called Lonely, lonely socks. socks. That's socks that don't have a friend. But they're all lonely together, so yeah. it's okay. So we kept your same dressers that you had. Every single drawer is labeled. And it should be easy to keep it going. We also organized your jewelry into little boxes. We hung your necklaces yeah. right here so they don't get tangled. And it actually is like kind of a cute, pretty moment. So this is Bree's bathroom. Oh, Bree's bath. Have you been in this bathroom yet, Bree? No, I haven't. Oh, that's where our, oh, our, our monogram big monogram towels are. So we moved the hamper in here because yeah. I think it was cluttering up the bedroom a little bit. It yeah. was. This is the odd-sized cabinet, so yeah. I think it works really well for towels. Yeah. Towels are like cats. They fit in any space. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Again, this is just makeup, things like that. And these are easy. You can take the whole thing mm -hmm. out and use it and put it back. And we have cleaning supplies here. Cool. We have toilet paper. And then this is the living room. Okay, so we made a few key changes in here. One, we really maximize the space underneath your coffee table with some baskets to hold candles, candle accessories. Yeah, we have three baskets of candles. Someone has some candles to work our way through. I got rid of some. Added a basket for remotes. Okay. okay. Let's talk about the next bedroom. Wow, first of all, look how high this bed is. It's very high. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, luckily it's California. It's legal now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm very excited about this closet. I know. This is essentially like your garage now. Oh, I love it. Right? Yes. So no more clothes in here. Okay. Now we added shelves and this has all kinds of stuff in here. So all of your linens are here. Uh-huh. Awesome. In boxes. Uh-huh. Um, and then we have like hardware and tools. So oh, smart. This is so great. There's a little bit of room to grow. Yes. Because if we were stuffed to the gills, I'd be like, well. Well, I guess we're done getting stuff. <laughs> I am excited about, like, why is the bed so high? Why is the bed what? so high? Why, why could the bed so possibly be cut? It's a lot of storage, honey. Ooh. Oh my god. So, so you can take mm -hmm. the whole oh, thing nice. out, find what you need. You oh. started a filing system. Oh, cool. Oh, you started a filing system? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You have some supplies here. Everything Everything fits. is amazing. It's so amazing. Oh, all right. I can't believe this is just going to be our life now. You guys did such an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Our house feels... Like a home. Like a home. It mm -hmm. feels like a home. And we're really happy that we have this cool, safe place to live. Yeah. And work. And work. I feel like a lot of our time here is spent apologizing to Bree <laughs> because we just made it. Needlessly, a needlessly. And um, I think we'll be able to apologize to you less. Aww. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome Thank so you. much. We're very happy. Oh my God. Yay. Yay.